And there we are. On this edition of Healthy OC, we will be talking about the latest advances in the field of urologic oncology with Dr. Jeffrey Yoshida from Hogue Hospital. We, welcome to the show, doctor. We're glad to have you on. Let's break it down. We're talking about the prostate. Yeah, latest advances. Um, <laughs> Uh, Greg and I were discussing this before, looking at some of the research. There are some startling statistics out there about men over 70 who have prostate cancer. They seem uh, inflated. Uh, mm -hmm. to talk about the reality, the numbers of people after a certain age that have prostate cancer. Well, the lifetime risk of developing prostate cancer is about one in six. Mm -hmm. So it's not uh, as inflated as, as it may seem in some of those statistics. It's about one in six right. lifetime. Because okay. you hear people say, it's not a question of if you're going to get prostate cancer, it's when. Right. And you're saying that's not true. No, that's, n that's not necessarily true. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously the people at risk are those that have a family history of prostate cancer. African Americans are also uh, at risk. Those are the patients that uh, need to kind of pay attention right. a little bit. Yeah. Well, let's talk about uh, the reason we had you on, some of the, the latest advances um, in, in that area. Mm -hmm. what, what, are, what are you looking at down there at Hoke Hospital? Well, the, the latest in, in prostate cancer treatment, um, which is really, really fascinating, is, is uh, robotic surgery. Mm -hmm. um, we use what's called the Da Vinci robot. Uh, right. we, uh, it's a minimally invasive way to uh, actually f physically remove the, the, the prostate gland and, and keep, every, keep the anatomy intact mm -hmm. and, and leads to quick recovery and, and great outcomes. Now, I've, I've had a couple of family members who've had to endure their prostate surgery recently. Um, grandfathers and, and things like that, but then also more recently have had a chance to actually witness what occurs when you have the robotic surgery. Talk about the difference between the recovery for the old surgery and the recovery for the robotic surgery. Oh, the recovery um, for robotic surgery is, is, is about reduced by about 50% at least. Um, patients go home the next day. Um, I've had patients surfing, golfing, you know, that kind of thing within about two weeks. Really? Uh, that's if they were able to do it before. Of right. Course, but, <laughs> They're not magically um, inclined after that. <laughs> yeah. But it, it's, it's um, you know, compared to the, the, the problem with the big surgery, the open surgery is, is having to heal that big incision and the pain associated. Yeah. And then they, they talk about these uh, tests, the PSA test, the DRE test. What, what, is the, what are they and, and who should be getting them? Sure. Well, the, the PSA test is a, a simple blood test. Mm -hmm. it, it measures a protein in, in, the, in the blood. Um, produced mainly by the prostate. The DRE is actually a, fing a finger exam right. uh, um, for, the, for the physician to feel the, the, um, the prostate. So the DRE, digital rectal exam. Digital rectal exam, exam, exactly. So those in combination really um, make up the prostate cancer screening. So having one without the other is not really recommended? Well, you, you can miss cancers if you do one and not the other. Okay. Um, you know, the, in, in general, the, 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 the blood test, the PSA test, will pick up cancers earlier. The digital rectal exam will pick up the lumps and bumps. And um, so both in combination is, is, is recommended. So what are we looking at as far as age ages go and wh what your milestone age is? I mean, I'm in my, my, my mid-30s, so sure. what, <laughs> which, <laughs> Anne laughs out loud. <laughs> what should we be looking at as far as 40, 45, 50? What should you be asking yeah. a doctor to perform? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a topic of, of hot debate right now. I think um, in general, if you're African-American or there's a family history, the, the prostate cancer screening should start at 40. Mm -hmm. For those that don't fall into those categories, I think uh, if you're really concerned about prostate cancer, if you have a lot of anxiety about it, um, getting a simple blood test at the age of 40 and, and, and getting plugged in with a urologist to, to help you through that. Um, so th those are the, the, two, the two main ones are the African Americans and the, those with family history. So and when your PSA level is, is elevated, what, uh, what ch is that necessarily a diagnosis of prostate cancer? No, abso absolutely not. Okay. Um, those that, that, that come to me with an elevated PSA, there's a lot of anxiety. And the first thing I tell them is, you know, the chances of you having prostate cancer are actually quite low. Oh, okay. Uh, you, you need to follow PSA trends over time. You need to sometimes do ancillary blood tests, the finger exam. Right. There's, there's a lot of things we take into consideration. Mm -hmm. Very in good. Analysis. All right, doctor, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right.